Hi, I'm Karen Ross, Secretary of the California Department of Food and Agriculture. I'm pleased to welcome you to your new workplace, CDFA. You'll learn about the seven divisions that make up the department and our mission, which is to promote and to protect California agriculture. I'm very proud to work with the people here at CDFA who are dedicated professionals, passionate about the mission that we all share. One of the things that we're very dedicated to is making sure that every employee has an opportunity to learn about options for their professional development, and we want to support you in meeting your goals. So come with me. Let's go meet some of the people you'll be working with at CDFA. We're on the fourth floor of the executive office where we work with the secretary, the undersecretary, deputy secretaries, and the legal and legislative offices. Here in Public Affairs, we communicate about the agency using news releases, videos, blogs, as well as some other means. We communicate with members of the public, agricultural stakeholders, and you. If you have anything you'd like to pass along, suggestions for communications here at the agency, we'd love to hear them. Information technology, better known as IT, provides valuable services to the staff and management of CDFA. We have three teams that provide these services. First, our service desk provides help desk support for desktop applications and hardware. Second, our acquisitions team can help you acquire that new desktop or new printer that you're seeking. And third, our development team can assist you in developing a new application or maintaining our existing 300 applications in the department. If you have a need, please reach out to our service desk. I'm the Division Director of Administrative Services. Our division provides centralized administrative support to the Department of Food and Agriculture through fiscal operations, budgets, personnel, and business services. The functions at the department are complex and diverse and are critical to the success of agriculture in the state. Administrative services is the center point of the department and we provide services to all divisions. In the Office of Budget and Program Analysis, we're responsible for developing, implementing, and administering the department's annual budget. We also prepare fiscal analyses on our revenue generating programs, and we work with the divisions to ensure their expenditures stay within their authorized budgets. Within Departmental Services, there are three offices. First is the Acquisitions Office, which includes contracts and purchasing. Next, we have the Building and Property Management Unit, which includes fleet, facilities, and the mailroom. And lastly, we have the Federal Funds Management Office, which includes the Specialty Crop Rock Grant Program and the Grant Awards Unit. The Department of Services staff are here to help you with all of your business needs. Human Resources is the heart of CDFA because we take care of the department's most valuable assets, its employees. Even before you become an employee, the exam unit provides you with the means to enter state service via the examination process and provides ongoing examinations to enable your advancement. The transactions unit ensures you are paid timely and you and your family have medical, dental, and vision coverage. The Learning and Development Center provides a variety of training services to enhance your life both on and off the job. The Health and Safety Office ensures your work site is safe and healthy. But should you fall ill or become injured, the Disability Management Unit will take care of you. These are a few of the services we provide. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop by. I hope you have a better understanding of what we do here in Administrative Services. Welcome to the Department of Food and Agriculture. We look forward to working with you. Animal Health and Food Safety Services protects the livestock and poultry of the state, and we make sure that great products like eggs and milk and meat that come from our farms and ranches are safe and of consistently great quality. If you visit us, you'll find veterinarians and meat inspectors and dairy food specialists and a myriad of other analysts and support staff that help us get the job done. And if you look around, you may find a few cowboy hats, baseball caps, and boots. The Milk and Dairy Food Safety Branch is responsible for ensuring that milk and all dairy products made from milk are safe, wholesome, and properly labeled. We do this by licensing and inspection activity that extends from the dairy farm all the way to consumers' tables. Dairy food specialists throughout the state not only inspect dairy farms where the milk is produced, but also the bulk tanker trucks that pick up milk from the farm 
and the milk processing plants where we work hard to make sure that dairy products are manufactured to meet all standards for safety and quality required by law. All of this work, of course, assures California consumers that the milk, yogurt, cheese, or ice cream that they purchase and enjoy every day is safe and of the highest quality. And that ongoing consumer confidence in the safety of dairy foods is, for me, one of the most rewarding aspects of what we do. Here at Animal Health Branch, which is the state's professional veterinary medical unit, our job is to protect farm animal populations from catastrophic livestock and poultry disease or other health conditions that cannot be successfully controlled by private veterinarians and producers on an individual animal or herd basis, thereby requiring statewide coordinated resources. Our animal health branch programs help protect California's over $12 billion livestock and poultry industry and ensure the affordability, the availability, and the wholesomeness of food for California, American, and world consumers. The Bureau of Livestock Identification is a branch in the California Department of Food and Agriculture. Our mission is to protect the California cattle industry from losses due to theft and strain. We have over 50 brand inspectors located throughout the state that determine the rightful ownership of three and a half million cattle. Although the registered brand is the most common form of identification, earmarks, tattoos, and tags are also quite common. Our inspectors are busy inspecting cattle at branches, sale yards, feedlots, and packing plants where they update our database with information to protect the California cattle industry. The people I work with are smart, friendly, and dedicated, and the owners and employees of the plants we regulate really seem to appreciate our efforts. I find it very satisfying that I'm able to help small California businesses protect California consumers and promote the health and care of the animals that provide our meat and poultry products. Working for the Egg Safety and Quality Management Program, I get to travel throughout California. My colleagues and I inspect eggs at production facilities, wholesale distributors, and retail stores to ensure that California consumers are getting eggs that are wholesome, free of external and internal defects, and come from an approved source. With over 38 million California consumers to protect and 786 million dozens of eggs consumed annually, my job is always exciting. Welcome to the Division of Inspection Services. I'm part of the administration team. Our inspectors, as well as the Center for Analytical Chemistry, help ensure the quality and safety of fresh produce, meat, milk, and eggs through routine inspections, sampling, and analysis. We also have the Certified Farmers Market Program as well as the Office of Farm to Fork which help promote local sales as well as direct farmer to consumer relationships. The roots of our division stem back to 1915 where the state's first standardization laws were enacted. A few decades later the Feed and Fertilizer Program soon followed. Today the foundation of these laws still exist and we continue to work closely with industry to face new challenges head on. While inspections take place at the farm, mill, field, and packing house, to name a few, it's important that these functions are supported at an admin level, and that's where I come in. In the way that the branches of inspection services serve the public, inspection services admins serve the other branches. Our role is to do the work that affects the division as a whole. We serve as the liaison to the director, the secretary, and the other divisions within CDFA. Our main mission is to ensure that the branches are putting their best face forward. I work for the Inspection and Compliance Branch that works to ensure producers comply with the laws and regulations as they pertain to fresh fruits and vegetables, farmers markets, organic products, and food safety. The programs can't operate unless they are financially solvent, and that's where I come in. As the budget analyst, I work closely with the program managers and the branch chief to monitor and project revenue and expenditures and to build future budget plans. The Feed and Livestock Drug Program's primary focus is to ensure in every way possible a clean and wholesome supply of meat, milk, and eggs to the global consumer. Our goal is to not only ensure that feed products are safe, but also that they meet nutrient guarantees required on the label. My team and I enforce state and federal laws and regulations. In 2011, we saw the Food Safety Modernization Act signed into law. It is the most comprehensive regulatory shift in U.S. history. 
With that, California is unique in that we have the Safe Animal Feed Education Program. Through outreach materials, voluntary audits, and educational workshops, we assist the California feed industry comply with state and federal regulations through voluntary compliance. Our investigative staff is out in the field throughout California to ensure that fertilizing materials are safe and effective, as well as to ensure the organic integrity of products. I like to consider ourselves ambassadors of agriculture. And that's because we help educate the industry that we serve. On any given day, we may be inspecting facilities, taking samples, or investigating complaints. No two days are alike. I've literally found myself inspecting a place on a sunny beach and a snowy mountaintop all on the same day. Our program has a lot of camaraderie. We continue to learn from one another, and every year we grow and evolve. The pesticide residue lab in the food safety section of the chem lab provides agrochemical analysis on food and environmental samples to support California's growers, county ag commissioners, and several other state and federal regulatory agencies. The pesticide residue monitoring program monitors produce from wholesale, retail, farmers markets, and distribution centers covering 150 different kinds of commodities, including cucumbers, ginger, and apples. Samples are delivered to the lab and analyzed using high-tech instruments. The results are normally provided within 30 hours from receipt of the sample. Currently, we screen for 320 pesticides. These instruments are very sophisticated and provide accurate data on our test samples. Their reliability has given us a lot of confidence for reporting accurate results in a timely manner. The Chem Lab plays a vital role in the Inspection Services Division. So as you can see, Inspection Services is incredibly diverse. We get to work with all segments of the agricultural industry. Without effective fertilizers or safe and nutritious animal feed, crops wouldn't grow and livestock and dairy wouldn't prosper. From farmers markets to organic produce to minimum quality and maturity standards to the state-of-the-art Center for Analytical Chemistry, we work to protect consumers and producers from those who may choose to take shortcuts. It's because of that great diversity and the people that I'm lucky enough to work with, a few of them you've met today, that have kept me right here for over 35 years. So I want to thank you for taking a few minutes to learn just a little bit about inspection services. The mission of our division is to provide stability in the marketplace for agricultural products. California's unique geography and climate allow it to produce over 400 different crops. California has led the nation in agricultural production for over 60 years. California leads the nation in dairy production as well as many fruits and vegetables. Marketplace stability is very important for these agricultural products and the staff here in this division do a great job in carrying out their responsibilities every day to make this happen. We are mandated to promote and encourage the sound production of milk and also the orderly marketing of dairy products. We accomplish this by establishing minimum farm gate prices for milk, collect and publish important dairy statistics, and also determine the cost to produce milk and dairy products within the state of California. In my job, we travel the state to various locations to determine alleged violations of the Food and Agriculture Code. Random license checks are conducted at flea markets, produce and flower markets, as well as roadside vendors. Administrative disciplinary action or prosecution is taken when necessary. At times, we work with local law enforcement to ensure compliance. I really enjoy my job. It poses new challenges every day. At the Division of Fairs and Expeditions, we provide limited fiscal and policy oversight of the 78 fairs in California. The 78 fairs in California consist of 52 district agriculture associations, 23 county fairs, two citrus fruit fairs, and the California Exposition and State Fair. The network of California fairs is a social, cultural, and economic treasure that enriches the lives of all Californians. For more information on fairs, please visit CDFA's website. You're now at the Division of Measurement Standards. We're about 30 minutes away from the Capitol and CDFA headquarters. The reason we're at this facility is because we do some very specialized things. 
So why don't you come on inside, we'll meet some of the staff, and you can see what we do. This is the Fuels and Lubricants Laboratory. In this laboratory, we test gasoline, diesel fuel, motor oil, automatic transmission fluid, brake fluid, anything you put in your car except for windshield washer fluid. Gasoline has one of those strange properties where you never see it, smell it, touch it, feel it, and you just assume you get the right amount. Our job in this laboratory is to ensure that you get the right amount and the right quality. This is the Metrology Laboratory, the heart and soul of weights and measures in California. Here, the metrologists certify the standards of the 58 counties, and in turn, the inspectors in those counties certify 1.4 million weighing and measuring devices throughout the entire state. In doing so, this laboratory ensures that consumers get what they pay for when they shop, every time they shop. Welcome to the Alternative Fuels Laboratory here at the Division of Measurement Standards, where we have the unique opportunity of using state-of-the-art equipment to develop technologies and test methods to ensure quality for alternative and zero-emission fuels. These fuels will transition California's transportation, light-duty, and heavy-duty infrastructure from polluting technologies to non-polluting technologies. This will also enable all Californians to enjoy a better air quality. At DMS, several of our programs have investigators like me. To protect consumers, we use a lot of the same tools that law enforcement uses, like surveillance, undercover purchases, preparing cases for the district attorneys, testifying in court in support of our cases, and collection of evidence. For example, we use undercover tanks that can check that an accurate amount has been dispensed. Then we take samples of fuel, take them to our fuels lab for testing. If they test bad, then we take enforcement action. It's a great job. I work with federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies in developing our cases and assisting in theirs. So there you have it. At the Division of Measurement Standards, we work with companies that manufacture cutting edge engineering and software technology. We work to develop the standards for new alternative fuels. We work with other government and law enforcement agencies to protect consumers and businesses in all sorts of commercial transactions. And we do this because the standards of measurement affect all of us, me, you, and every other citizen in the state of California. We'd be happy to show you more. Stop by anytime. The Plant Health and Pest Prevention Services Division is responsible for protecting California agriculture and natural resources from the damage caused by harmful exotic and invasive species. This protection is provided for through a comprehensive pest prevention system administered by the division in association with our four organizational branches, pest exclusion, pest detection and emergency projects, the integrated pest control branch, and everybody's favorite, the Plant Pest Diagnostic Laboratory. Here at the Plant Pest Diagnostic Center, I work with a group of dedicated expert scientists, including plant pathologists, entomologists, plant botanists, nematologists, and seed botanists. Our role in protecting California agriculture and the environment lies in identifying diseases on plant samples or providing identifications of insect samples that come into the lab. Most of the samples that we receive are submitted by either CDFA or county staff. However, any member of the public is welcome to bring in a plant sample for disease diagnosis or submit an insect sample to have it identified. The primary goal of the Pest Detection Emergency Projects Branch is to initiate and operate programs designed to detect and eradicate pests before they become established in California. Early detection and prompt eradication of these pests protects California's agriculture, natural environment, and urban landscapes. In order to accomplish these goals, the branch maintains a statewide system of over 100,000 insect traps and conducts visual surveys for various pests on an annual basis. Key to eradicating pest infestations is rapid response. We maintain staff and equipment that can respond within 24 hours of the detection of new pests. We also maintain a toll-free hotline for residents to contact the department and report new pests or collect more information about ongoing programs. We employ the latest scientific advancement in our programs to conduct in integrated pest management strategies, limit the use of pesticides, protect the environment, protect the public while we're eradicating these new pest infestations. I think what makes working in integrated pest control great is the people and the programs. IPC mostly works on long-term projects. 
We work on serious, ongoing problems that affect wide areas. For instance, one of our programs stops the spread of a plant virus that causes serious damage to, to tomatoes and other crops. Another program keeps California's canals and waterways clear of the world's worst water weed. For all that work, we spend a lot of time in the field checking California's farmlands, the fields nearby, and its waterways. That's where tools like this little boat come in. Our people spend a lot of time outdoors, and they get to see that their work makes a real difference. Many of them come to take real ownership of their projects, and they do everything they can to make sure that they're a success. The Pierce's Disease Program began as part of the Plant Health Division here at CDFA in 1999 when we received a report from the Riverside County Agricultural Commissioner that they had witnessed significant acres of wine grapes dying in the Temecula Valley region of Riverside County. They also reported that they had witnessed significant populations of a sharpshooter insect infesting both citrus and wine grapes in that region. We now know that the cause of grapevines dying in that region was attributed to Pierce's disease, and the insect that they had witnessed with significant populations was glasswing sharpshooter. Fast forward to now, the Pierce's disease program is still in operation at CDFA today and has been extremely successful in achieving its objectives. We've contained the spread of the insect to those areas that we originally found to be infested. We developed for the grower community management tools that they use to manage the disease and the insect in their vineyards. And we established a research program that has identified long-term solutions to the disease itself. This program is an excellent example of a government, industry, and academia partnership that has been used as a model program for the implementation of several other pest prevention programs within the last 10 years. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the wide variety of opportunities available for you here at your new workspace, CDFA. You can always ask our friendly staff questions that you may have, or check out our website for more information, cdfa.ca.gov. Again, welcome to CDFA. We're really pleased to have you join us.